Welcome back to Naples, Florida, as we continue our live coverage of the 2019 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And we are excited to bring you our second match of the day. It's the women's gold 5 0 age 19 to 49 bracket. And it will be Julie Manuel out of Dayton, Ohio, teamed with Beth Merchant out of Owensboro, Kentucky, taking on Anna Lee Waters, 12 years old, out of Delray Beach, Florida. There's Anna Lee just moving towards the right on your screen. And it's her teammate, Stacy Townsend, 31 years old, out of West Palm Beach, Florida. And, and I, I think I got that backwards on you. Um, or, well, yeah, Beth Merchant from uh, Owensboro and uh, Manuel from Dayton. Sorry about that. You may have said that. Manuel is from Dayton, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And uh, I love the shirts here that Stacy and, and Anna Lee have. Uh, one's got Dinker and one's got Banger. So I think we know they're coming to today with a one-two punch. And they will open with the serve 0-0-2. Zero, zero, it will be Stacy Townsend. As we hear the introductions, Beth Merchant is in the black t shirt. And there's a look at Julie Manuel. Julie Manuel, sponsored by Team Onyx. And she is a certified pickleball instructor through the IPTPA, International Pickleball Teaching Professional Association. No injuries. Zero, zero, two. And Beth. Her husband, Altoff. Altoff had a good day in the age events here earlier this week. They run some of their own tournaments in Owensboro, doing a great job jo growing the game. Here. Wow, Boy. what a shot. Annalie <laughs> saying, I'm going to be a force today. Oh, she is a force every day. And Annalie, at just 12 years old, we will One, see zero, her again three. in the women's doubles pro on Friday playing with her mom. Uh, impressive young lady indeed. She can hang with all of the pro ladies. Okay, so uh, listen, uh, we try to be unbiased and not have rooting interest. It's hard not to kind of want to see a 12 year old succeed, but I'm going to give you a reason if you're not and you don't have a, a dog in this fight why you want to root for the other side as well because Julie Manuel, she's playing with a pacemaker and she's had a knee replacement. Former college basketball player, former so college hard. softball player, and uh, she has. Found a, a new passion there, so good look at her there. And now we see one, Merchant. But how about that? Julie Manuel playing at this high level with a pacemaker. That is certainly impressive. Yeah, that's very impressive. Didn't did not realize that. Point. So this is the strategy that we're going to see uh, from Merchant and Manuel right now is to keep as many balls away from Annalie Waters as possible. One, one, in two. That, uh, up near the kitchen, she's going to speed up nearly every ball that she can, and so. You see the crossing right there to try to get Waters the ball. But uh, Stacey Townsend knows she's going to be hitting a lot of shots in this match. Died out. And Manuel unable to catch up with that one after it had hit the net, maybe threw off her rhythm. Sandra Hunter chiming in on the stream saying, excuse one, one, one. me, but this is 19 to 49, not 12 to 49. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, folks, uh, for anyone under 19 can play up to the Second. 19 uh -huh. division. Um, that's uh but people people that are older one, one, uh, can't play down in, in age so one one two in the early going side out and then side out as townsend hits it a little bit too lightly one 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 So one of the things to watch for is the movement at the net uh, after returning serve here between Waters and Townsend. Sometimes they're going to cross, sometimes they're going to switch, sometimes they're going to head fake one, one, and two. stay. Try to make uh, Manuel and Merchant think about how they're going to position themselves so that they can get the ball away from Waters. Manuel hits that a little bit deep. And so the serve will change sides. One, one, one. one, one. one. And uh, Zach Carmichael talks about junior division. There is a junior division. There's an but ATP blocked. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Point. So, and I don't think any juniors want to see Anna Lee in that division. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two, one, one. Now Anna Lee with the serve. Here 
happens again. Yep, that's that's her game style, right? It's on the back of her shirt. That's why when that ball's sitting there, even if it's below the net, she's going to rip that ball and uh, use a little bit of top spin to hope the ball stays in play. But even if it doesn't stay in play, if she can hit it hard enough at her opponent's bodies and make them hit it, uh, she's likely to get something that she can jump on. It's the speed, it's the precision, it's the accuracy, it's the downward trajectory. It's uh, very difficult to defend. Three, one, two. So three, one, two with Townsend taking over serve. It's a good deep return. So that's Bye what up. is going to need to happen for Merchant and Manuals to hit those returns of serve deep so that a, uh, Townsend. One, three, one. And Waters can't pounce on them quite so easily. Yeah, Townsend was hoping that one was going to hit it out of bounds. It didn't, had to hit it, and was not in a favorable position. Boy. Ooh. There's been a couple of questionable calls here. One, one on each side right now where the player thought the ball was Two, in. three, one. It's called out. So two, three, one. Obviously mm -hmm. deep there by Julie Manuel. Second serve. Not a bad idea to go for that ball. It was up there. There was an offensive chance. Three, three, Just, uh, two. Overcooked that turkey a little bit and it sounds long. There's the cross we were talking about. Mm. Point. So they come back to tie it up now. Three, three, two. Three, three, two. A merchant out of Owensboro, Kentucky with the serve. And again, Nine that's out. the third time at least that we've seen Julie hit it long. Three, three, one. Point. Yeah, and I, I don't know if she's just feeling a little tight right now. So Four, three, one. Definitely going to need to work out. Is that good return of serve deep like that, pushing them behind the baseline with backspin on it, means that that third shot drop might sit up a little bit higher and be attackable. Takes a little bit of risk to hit the ball that deep, but I think uh, if they're going to be successful in this match, Four, three, Manuel two. and Merchant have to be willing to take that risk. There's another good one. That nice out. shot there by Merchant. Put it where Townsend couldn't return it, really. And so now we go to 3-4-1 in this Best of three match, game one. Nice exchange, and then finally the banger bangs it too deep. Mm -hmm. So Manuel and Merchant are going to be reminding themselves right now that that's a really good strategy against these hard hitters, is to be willing to let balls go out. So we're going to see if they're going to be selective like that again and see if they can uh, catch Annalie exactly. over hitting. Maybe get a few easy points. Man Manuel hits the net. 4-4-2. Four, four, People who are just joining the live stream wondering how it is that Annalie Waters gets to play up in age. Boy. And we have addressed that, but uh, she can play up one age division. This is true. Because of her youth at just Five, 12 four, years two. old. We've got Simone Jardim watching the feed. Hello, Simone. We're looking forward to seeing her in action Side out. as we continue our coverage this week. Yeah, we sure are. Simone, a triple crown winner here at the Four, U.S. Five, Open, five. multiple multiple time national champion, and just an absolute joy to watch. Point. Julie would like to have that one back. Hits it off the top of the net and then out of bounds. Five, five, one. So back to... All even at 5-5. Five, five. Townsend's got to get that ball cross court. <gasps> the, Point. Yeah, that's just uh, got down the end of <laughs> Julie's paddle and just sailed long. I know she definitely would love to have that back. Amir Amigo saying, if someone is 47, can they play up into the seniors bracket? No, that, that, that would not be over. allowed. No, so just to clarify on this one more time, because this came up yesterday with Six, William five, being 15 playing in the 19 plus division. If you are a junior, you can play up into the 19 plus division. That is the only time you can play up. Otherwise, Boy. all other age divisions, you can play down in age, but you can't play up in age. 
For skill divisions, you can play up in skill, but not down in skill. So hopefully time that out. helps clarify for, time out. for everybody. Seven, five, two. The time out being time taken out. here in game one as it's seven five. We'll take a quick break as well. Another gorgeous day here in Naples, Florida, the East Naples Community Park. It has become the epicenter for all things pickleball. 54 courts here in this park. 50 of them have this Deco turf soft surface. And it really has become a, just an explosion in the pickleball world. This, this tournament is the go-to tournament for everybody that plays this sport. Yeah, it's uh, and every court is an individual court fenced, Second which is seven. really important in tournament play. So you don't have those balls Five, crossing seven, when you're in very important rallies. Oh. Out. And and they're, claim, they're claiming that Townsend touched that. Yep, and the official not that. seeing it that way. Did she touch the ball? No. So Townsend and Waters. Oh, I didn't see it. Thank you. We've got Ed Johnson. Seven, seven, five, one. Yeah, what? Stacey, what? Stacey Townsend saying that she it. did okay. touch oh, it. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you very much. She did touch it. Thank you. Thank you all. There you go. The crowd appreciating that show of sports Good Thank you very much. Point. Yeah, great show of sportsmanship there. So instead, it will be a point, and it moves to 672. Yeah. You can see Stacy giving right. signals Six, to seven, Anna eight. Lee. That signal there is on her back. It's I mean, she's gonna letting cross. her know. Yeah, yeah, there she's going to cross or stay. And Not getting out. crossed up was all that happened there. Julie looked like she wished she had two paddles in her hand on that one. So uh, Ed Johnson seven, six, is one. the referee for this particular match. He does uh, a lot of work helping coordinate along with his wife, Gail Scavangelli, here for the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. How about that? Oh. Annalie decides to go to the banger philosophy, and Julie Manuel unable to catch up with it. You know, it's Eight, interesting. Eight, Sometimes, one. you know, I get emails from people uh, through our work at Third Shot Sports asking about you know, how do I get people to slow it down? How do I get people to stop hitting hard? Right? The people I play with that might, it's a great lob from Townsend right there. Yeah, really how, great finesse. Put it not only over the head of Manuel, she also put it right on the line. Asking them how to get, get people to stop hitting hard. And it's a pretty simple answer to, to me is, wow, that was a close call. Point. Is they're gonna hit hard as long as it works. And I mean, it's now set up a game point here. Andy Watt is serving. Want. The power game is working for them, so why would you change it? Second serve. Into the net for Waters. But still a chance to close out this game as we move to 10 6 2. 10 6 2. So game one goes to Waters and Townsend, 11-6. Oh, now look at the white sand beaches. Just on the Gulf Coast here in beautiful Florida. It's tough to beat the scenery, it's tough to beat the beaches. The water is warm and inviting, and it is a great place to visit this time of year. Also some pretty impressive pickleball. Right. And a pretty uproarious crowd Line enjoying the action Line here. Line yeah, we just, okay. Well, you just you uh, while we were away, Thank there was a tribute to job, a war veteran right, here in the stands, the uh, followed by We Love the USA. And it was a little bit of a chilling, goosebumpy moment here. Maybe even for a Canadian. Maybe even for a Canadian. So game two, Annalie Waters Not and out. Stacey Townsend trying to see if they can make quick work here of uh, Julie Manuel and Beth Merchant. 
be interesting to see here towards the end of game number one, about halfway through, our statistician Chad Edwards let us know that Waters and Townsend. Oh, what a, what a shot. shot. What a shot. Man, the forehand with power and touch. I think Annalie closed her eyes when she hit that one. Watch here, she crosses here looking to intercept. Just enough toss to stay in the court. Halfway through the first game, I was saying uh, that Waters and Townsend started to target Julie Manuel a little bit more. We're going to see if they continue to do that. Be successful for them in the first game. You know, Melissa, you mentioned uh, the success that well, Annalie has do. had playing along with her mother, Lee. And how about the fact that earlier this spring, her and her mom defeated Boy. Simone Jardim and Christine Carr at the Florida Grand, Grand Slam. Now oh, they sure they sure did. And I think, uh, two, you know, probably didn't surprise them, but surprised uh, many others. And I saw them play in September in Texas Boy. at the Texas Open and go a uh, game three against Lucy Kovalova and Sarah Ansbury and just uh, just three, miss out at a 12 10 uh, loss. I mean, they're an impressive duo. Can't wait to see them uh, playing Boy. on Friday. Oh, uh, net ball. Beth Merchant will certainly take it. Zero three one. So zero three one. Exactly. You know, it can be, we saw right there, Merchant, um, when Waters and Townsend were crossing off the return of serve, it can be a good play to hit that third shot drive right down the middle, Zero hoping that as those players cross, as they switch sides, that they get their signals crossed and they're not quite sure who's going to uh, take that ball. So let's see if Manuel Boy. and Merchant look to use that third shot drive uh, more often when they see Townsend One, and three, Waters two. crossing. There it comes again. Cross court dink. Well done. Very really well done. Some fancy footwork there for Emmanuel, who wanted to make sure that after playing that volley, she didn't step into the non volley two, zone. Three, Remember, if your momentum from that volley takes you into the kitchen, you lose the point. point. The merchant hits it right at Waters. It's a good strategy. Ties it up at three apiece. Three, three, two. Annalie Waters has only been playing pickleball in tournaments for about five months. Point. So going back to, that was the tournament you referenced, that would have been one of her, her early tournaments. Uh, I think they've been playing a little bit longer Four, three, than two. that. Um, that was back in September. Thank you. I'll take a all look. Right, all the score and get you a new ball. Pickleballtournaments.com will have all the information. How did you know that's where I was going? Well, <laughs> I'm going off of just a blog I'm reading, sure. so it may it may not be the all gospel right, truth. All right. We have uh, Robin Four, three, Barnett eight. asking a question about how much of the newer, faster game is due to better, younger players, often with tennis experience versus improving equipment or changing equipment. Right um, I think both these things are related. Players uh, previously, when they would hit hard, Three, became four, much tougher to hit low balls fast and keep them in the court. They would tend to sail out. But as the equipment evolves, one. you can one, create more power, two, create more spin. And so balls that previously were sort of unattackable. Four, four, you know, we were talking about Simone Jardim uh, recently, who was joining us on the stream. We were talking to her, and she said, there no longer are balls that are unattackable. Second but even cover. those lower balls that you used to be able to be confident uh, they won't hit hard or they'll sail out is now something that you have to worry about. And so um, it is a function of younger, faster players coming in, Thank you. but it's also a function of the technology evolving. Well, four, we four, talked two. yesterday about how the sport continues to evolve and people continue to find ways to be able to find loopholes and be able to exploit this game. So Annalie's been playing about a year and a half. Okay. I know it was a year ago at the Atlanta Open that I now remember uh, meeting her and her mom yeah, for the yeah. first time, and then it, it became Five, apparent four, to me that it wouldn't be long before they would become a force to reckon with. Annalise started to come in and uh, play at 4-5. She quickly moved to 5-0 oh. and, and, and then quickly Point. into the pro divisions. Well, she has uh, certainly been fun to watch and is going to be a force for years Six, four, to come two. as long as she continues to, to play pickleball. So we see here that Manuel 
Oh, wow. How about yeah. that backhand? She hits it right into Manuel. Yeah, and you see Annalie put up her hand after she hit that ball. Time out. You know, it's, it's good etiquette. Uh, you know, you're trying to win the point. Door, you're not going to give it back, but it's good Seven, etiquette when you four, hit two. someone to apologize. Time out taken out. here in game two. We'll break as well. Look inside the sponsor's Seven, tent four, and the area just beyond the Zing Zang Championship Court. You can see so many Boy. of the vendors and check out the latest equipment and get a chance to talk to some of the people and, and test things out. That's the best thing. You can, you can actually hold the equipment in your hand, see what feels good to you. Yeah, they do a good job. This year there's uh, air conditioning in those vendor tents. And, uh, but yeah, lots of, there's uh, demo oh, areas yeah. uh, for paddles, for shoes. There's actually a group in there where you can stand on a, some kind of foot analysis system and they can tell you what kind of uh, orthotics you might need to help your feet. So all kinds of stuff in there. 481, Manuel and Merchant, if they're gonna make a move in this match, you figure this is the time that it needs to happen. They get the serve back to Waters and Townsend. It, it could be game over. Point. So we had a few people who, uh, coming through questions on our live stream. Uh, one is about goggles. Goggles are not required for pickleball, though you may wear them, and some people do. We had another uh, post from Kate Willey uh, talking about uh, a podcast. Um, I did an interview with uh, Annalise's mother, Lee Waters, about that match where uh, they beat Point. Corinne Carr and Simone Jardine. Um, our podcast is called Pickleball Problems, and you can find it wherever you listen to podcasts or at thirdshotsports.com. And uh, Lee Waters talked about um, how great it was to play with her daughter and exciting. And we're seeing how exciting she is to watch here today. I'm going to have to check that out. And so someone else is asking about the other age of the other players. We've talked a lot about Anna Lee. Stacy's 31. Julie and Beth are both 40. Lob shot returned by Anna Lee. Ooh. Wow, what a point. So we saw a really pro move there from Townsend. Yeah. When that ball clipped the top of the net and went over, she didn't stop on the play. She kept going. She assumed it was going to come over. That kept the point alive and gave them a chance to win. So moves it to 6-8-2. Well placed shot by wow. Manuel. And then she's wow. able to eat up the return there by Townsend. Yeah, and just good good awareness by Julie too. She saw where she put the ball down the line. She was able to get outside the kitchen line to get up closer really to be able to then put the ball, put the ball away down through the middle. Right, nice go. job. That is the third clean winner that was hit by Merchant and Manuel in this game. They're serving 7-8-2. Statistician, Mr. Chad Edwards, thank you, sir. Doing a yeoman's job for us. Point. Annalie gets a little bit crossed up, it's and this good. game gets knotted up. Yeah, you can see here that Merchant, uh, that's why they call the timeout. Merchant looks fired Four up. She looks out. like they believe they can win this game. Eight, eight, Waters tends to call point. And knotted up at eight, will break as well, back in a moment. Line Back here Line in Naples, judge. Florida, 8-8 eight, eight in game two of this best of three gold eight, medal eight, match. Two. Waters Townsend and Manuel Merchant trying to battle back, controlling the serve at 8-8-2. Eight, eight, no. Point. And the point there. 9-8-2. And I stand corrected, this is not the gold medal match, this is the semi-final match, so my apologies. We did it, 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 We did expect to have the gold out here at three o'clock, but this eight, bracket nine, is one. taking a little bit longer to play, so we had the opportunity to put the semi out here. Well, see, that's what happens when I go do the interview. Between matches, <laughs> you guys change things up on me, and then I come back, and I'm, I, didn't, I did not get that memo. It would have been important to have. <laughs> uh, well, 
Yes, it would. Apologies. This is a 5-0 bracket. And Back. so all the matches here which should be good ones. After this one, we are going to have the senior women's pro hey, gold. Unless we change it on you. Nine, nine, so we, we are going to keep we are going to keep gold the remainder of the day. So Boy. we're looking forward to that senior women's pro gold, which will be very interesting. Some big names coming up in that one, including Jennifer Dawson, and nine, nine, two. Cammy McGregor. Yes, going against Lisa Namu and Chris Anderson. We'll see some power for sure in that match. Just like Speaking we're seeing right power. here. Tied out. Anna Lee unable to get that last one over the net. Wow. So nine, 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 one. Nine, one. Nine, nine, one. Again, there's a great example of how important it is not to give up on the ball, not to assume that because the ball touches the net, it's not coming over. Going forward to get that ball, Merchant keeps the point alive and sets up a game point. Merchant cross court. Just not going to want to hit too many of those. Waters goes power. That's and why. <laughs> that executes beautifully. 10 19. And that was just smart by Annalise. Uh, she's certainly wise beyond her years. She knew exactly where she needed to put that ball to put herself in a position to be on the offense and put the ball away. Another game point here. Some people commenting on the stream saying Waters is a savant. There it is. And there it is. Yes. So we're going to go to a third and final game, game here in this semifinal as Manuel and Merchant battle three, back lady. to take game two, 11-9. A final look at game point. Game three coming your way after a brief timeout. Back here in Naples, Florida, the 2019 U.S. Open Pickleball Championships continuing day five, and we have seen some excellent competition, and it, it's been no different here in this semifinal match. Stacy Townsend and Annalie Waters. I feel like we've talked a lot about Annalie because of her age, but how about Stacy Townsend? And uh, you can learn more about her by going to thepickler.com. She has. Done some excellent work Not there good. with Steve Kennedy, who Not we good. saw in our Thank coverage you. yesterday. All right, All right, here we go. And Stacy has actually authored a book about pickleball, deal, deal, deal. the Pickleball Mental Edge. And that's pretty impressive at just 31 years old to, to have your own book. It really is. I guess we'll see if she's able to get the mental edge here in this third game and deciding game of this match, the semifinal match, as you mentioned. Got it out. The winner of this match will go on to play for gold. One of the things here is when you're the player being targeted, as we see that Townsend is here, they're trying to avoid Anna Lee and targeting Townsend is, um, that puts so much pressure on you. You know that ball is coming to you again and again and again and again. And I think it's fair to say she's done a good job and we saw it there. Is it, hanging is, up. is it amazing that they're targeting the 31 year old and not the 12 year old and the 19 to 49 division? I mean, you know, when you're getting ready to hit that ball, you're not thinking about how old your Boy. opponent is. Right? right. You're thinking about how likely are you to hit a shot that's successful. And right now, um, you know, given what they're looking at when they One, look zero, across two. the net, uh, it makes sense to them right now to to go after the player who's less of a threat. I mean, I'm just saying that's a tip of the cap to Anna Lee at, at 12 to be in this division. And Heads up. they're not going to target her. And you Got can out. see why. I mean, the other side of that coin, of course, is when you're the person who's being frozen out, right? They were call one it, one. Someone's avoiding you when you're being frozen out. You still have to be alert on every single ball because it could be hit at you. The trouble is you're not actually but hitting the ball. It's sometimes it's a little bit um, tougher mentally to be so alert but never get rewarded with being able to make contact with the ball. So when you're the person frozen out, you've, uh, you've got a tall task ahead of you as well. 
And Elite just 12 one years one. old. She Fire began playing racket sports if, after her family the relocated year. briefly from one, one, Florida to Pennsylvania following Hurricane Irma. Was looking for something to occupy her time in Pennsylvania. Picked up a tennis racket and then eventually made her way to racquetball, or uh, excuse me, to pickleball. And the banger coming through right there. Two, one, two. And that power is just so impressive. The power, but also the spin. You'll be able to see how that ball really has a tight arc to it. Uh, significant upward acceleration, which creates that top spin and makes that ball dip down so it still has a chance to stay in the court. And she's very good Three about one, seeing the opportunity uh, to get that kind of shot. Well, so we've seen Kyle Yates have yes. success at a very young age on the men's side. I mean, are we looking at the female version of Kyle Yates right now? Four Kyle time just out. wishes Four he one was one. that good. Four one two. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> first time out. Time out here in Florida. We'll be back in a moment. Pickleball channel. Waiting for Four one. Right. Waters Townsend's. With the early two. lead, 4-1-2 as they hold the serve. And Waters hits that Not one out. into the net. One, four, see one. on the comment section, some people are having some issues with some freezing. And we are working our best to try and make sure that that is not on our end. We appreciate everybody that's sticking with us here on this stream. Second serve. And Merchant hits it long. You mentioned before we went on to break and uh, some of the viewers are in, One, enjoying four, the little fun that I was poking there uh, at Mr. Yates. Uh, Annalee and Kyle did play in the mixed age earlier this Point. week and won gold. I would think uh, we might see some more Kyle and Annalee. Two, four, two. In some future events. Certainly Kyle, a great resource for Annalee. He can share his experiences as a young player playing at a high level. Absolutely, and he's a super sharp young man. Wow. Just, I mean, that's all you could say. Uh, you yeah. watch her and you're amazed that she has the, the touch and the power at such a young age. I know, I wish I had that kind of power. And, and forget about it at such want. a young age. For any age, that's impressive. Yeah. There's a question on on the uh, forum here about Sarah Ansbury didn't make it quite as far this year. Is she doing singles? Uh, today is senior pro doubles. Sarah is not a senior. And then the skill age, which is what this match is today. So we will see Sarah in action tomorrow and again on Saturday. 4-2-2. Get by Julie. Really was. Oh. And then finishes it off. Yeah, and that's yeah. what you're going to have to do because you certainly don't want to put it in the wheelhouse of Stacy or Annalie. By the way, I want to tip two, four, the one. cap to our crew here. I mean, they've been, done a great job bringing us fantastic shots all week long, and our replay people, everybody in the truck, you guys Second are just third. absolutely killing it. We're we're thrilled to have such a great support staff behind the scenes Three, here four, with eight. us in Naples. Absolutely, and it's been fun seeing Rusty go into the crowd too. Point. Townsend would like to have that one back. It's tightening up. Now 3-4-2 in this decisive third game in the semifinals. 3-4-2. Got it out. It'll be interesting to see what we see Stacy and and uh, or uh, Julie and Beth do Four, three, here. One. In the last match, they seem to be targeting Stacy a little bit more, trying to keep it in more an isolation, soft game, and that certainly did work for them. It looks like a similar strategy is what they're trying to do here now. I think so. Yeah, they're having to show again and again that they can keep the ball away from the middle of the court, where Waters can pounce on it. And we saw there just Five, going a bit one. too far. And and when Waters comes over and controls the middle of the court like that. Um, you're really giving Merchant Emmanuel such a small amount of space to work with 
Credit so Manual, she dug that one Boy. out and unable to make Blah, the pay, that, however, lady. Merchant with Got the unforced error. So 6-3-1, and a timeout will be used here by Manuel and Merchant. We'll break as well. Six All three right, now. Waters and Townsend starting man. to build a little bit of a lead in this well, third and decisive line, game as we switch line, sides. Thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Time in. Six, Wind three, really one. not as much of a factor here today as it appeared to be yesterday. So I'm not sure the side switch is as important on this day five of the tournament as Second, it was on day four. Waters hits it into the net. So six, six three, three two, two now. There's a question about how can you see the program Point. pro games over the next Thank two you. days without being here. We have Seven, been doing three, the live feeds starting tomorrow. We start the production for CBS Sports, so Point. they won't be seen live. What are the dates, Dave, that those matches will be on? Uh, May 24th May three, on CBS Sports Network at 7 p.m. Eastern. That'd be 4 Pacific. And then there's been a, a few other things that might be worth some clarification for here at the U.S. Open. We did play the pro singles events on Sunday, and then we've been doing yeah. age and skill through uh, Wednesday with the senior pros playing yesterday for the men, the women's senior pro playing today, and then tomorrow we will have the senior mixed pro, the Three, men's and women's one. open pro, and then Saturday we'll have the Senior Open Pro Division. So hopefully that helps. If you guys would like to see a complete schedule of the U.S. Open, you can go to pickleballtournaments.com and click on the U.S. Open logo and then schedule. Annalie covering a lot Ooh. of ground. Townsend with that cross shot. That was a great block by Beth to stay in this one. Wow. There we go. Merchant and Manuel, yeah, yeah, excited. They need those points now. They're serving at 4 8 1. If you want a little run here, it would mean a lot for them. So, Manuel with the serve. What? And into the net now, so it's going to move to 4 8 2. Merchant will take over the serve. Open pro. And hit Boy. long there. I think that was called in. No, they in. did call it in. Yeah, it You're right, in. it just caught the line. Yeah, I think Townsend was thinking it was going to land Five long because it is a little bit of wind pushing that ball. There's another Boy. one that stays in. So this is that run that we were talking about. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one more point that uh, is won here by Manuel and Merchant that Tens and Waters are going to think about taking a timeout. 6-8-2. They'd prefer to just get the side out and get the serve back. But you're right, one more point, and they may take that timeout. And they're going to instead look at the serve back here. Eight six one. Waters hits it right into Merchant. Point. And now two points away from moving on to the final. Yeah, that's a tough ball when it goes right off the top of the net there. There's Nine, nothing you can one. do. 9-6-1. 10-6-1. And this is where I'm definitely calling a timeout. Time out. Out. Melissa, there you go. The second out. time out <laughs> and final. <laughs> Good use of the time out here by Emmanuel and Merchant. One point away from this thing being done. Here we go. Well, Stacey Townsend Ten, looking six, to close one. this thing out. 10-6-1. Oof. Off and the there top it is. Of the off the top of the Get net. Man. And the Twosome of Waters and Townsend will move Great on job, to play lady. for gold. Judges, they you. win 11-6, 9-11, 11-6. Yeah, another ball off the top of the net. Hard for Merchant to handle. 
ball sails just wide, and uh, Waters and Townsend happy to get the assist from the net. So that wraps up our second match of the day here on our live stream. We'll be back to Naples, Florida in just a bit to bring you the Women's Senior Division Pro Gold match. Hope to see you in just a little bit back here from Naples.